And speaking of attracting and repelling, let's look at that in action. This is a Van de Graaff generator, which was invented in 1929 to generate electrostatic charges. It has a motor that makes this bell positively charged. And this, as you can see, is a balloon. It's made out of rubber, which is good at absorbing charges. I'm going to use this generator to positively charge this balloon. What do you think will happen when I move the balloon close to the bell after they're both positively charged? Well, let's find out. I'm giving this balloon a positive charge by making it touch the generator. Now, when I put it near the positively charged bell, it's repelled. Why? Because like repels like. Now, here's the really important part. The closer I move the balloon to the bell, the bigger the force. And the farther I move the balloon, the weaker the force. Look at what happens when I turn off the generator and discharge the bell. The bell stops repelling the balloon because it's lost its positive charge. And that's Coulomb's law in action. Now, let's look at Coulomb's law in a problem. 